Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danky coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia, and TGIF. It is Friday, the last day of the typical work week. I know we all work different schedules, but the typical work week. And um, it is August 7th. August 7th, we are moving right along, and we have 146 days left, 146 days left to make 2020 the best it can be. I hope that you are playing along in this game of life with me, and I hope you're playing to win, to win. Let's play to win. Thank you all for joining me. As you hop on here, please say good morning and where you're from and what type of day that you are having so we can celebrate that. I met a new member in a, well, I met a member in the store last night, and she was talking about having a uh, moment of weakness during the afternoon, and one of the things that I thought I might tell everybody, good morning, Brenda from Kennesaw, having a perfect day, awesome, way to go, uh, thank you for telling us, good morning, Ron, good morning, was, you know, once we've gone in there, we've journaled for the day, and we've journaled perfect day, or we've journaled IMF day, you know, for just a moment of weakness, I wouldn't want to change that. I would not want to change that. But one of my, uh, one of my examples to her was, did you, did you end up, did your day turn into your birthday midway through? Did your day turn into your anniversary midway through? No, you already knew if you were going to have a birthday or an anniversary, and if you wanted to have a holiday, you could plan for that. But days don't just turn into special days very often, midday, okay? So let's not give up those perfect days that we've worked so hard for. Use a freebie if we have to. That chicken bouillon from the Shibby Shop is savory. If you're the person that likes a little savory something, it makes you feel like you have really eaten something, although you've drank it and it's a freebie uh, because there's lots of fiber in it. But... If you're like me and like something a little sweet, you could do a little extra that is uh, the uh, Coco Ringa or one of the Choco Ripe Patties. But just there's no reason to give up a perfect day. There really isn't, especially when you've planned it, you've told yourself you're going to have it, you've declared it. Let's not give it up. Good morning, Cheryl from Clarksville, Georgia, having an IMF day. Good morning, Diane Rurodi. From Kennesaw, having a perfect day. Charlene from Dallas, and thank you, Charlene. If y'all don't mind sharing this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you for sharing, Charlene. Thank you for being so diligent at that. Good morning, Tracy from Austell, having a perfect and blessed day. Oh, yay! Yay! And she had a job, second job interview that included lunch yesterday, and she accepted that job. Great job, Tracy. So happy for you. That's awesome. Good morning, the happy camper from Uldawa. And she's having a perfect day and getting in her water and down 1.2 pounds. Way to go. That is awesome. Good morning, Angela and James from Center, Alabama. Having a perfect day. I'm so happy for y'all. That is awesome. Good morning, Michelle from Carrollton, uh, Georgia. Having a IMF perfect day. Good morning, Belinda from Estero, Florida. Awesome. Awesome. And hey, Candace, and hey, Diane, thank you for sharing. Thank you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do the little drawing right now. It would not let me, I'm going to have to turn, y'all are going to see my messy office, but it would not let me do the thing on my phone today. So I'm going to spin it right there. We're going to see who's going to win $5. Bob, oh my goodness, Bob won again. Um, that was not fair. That was like a tricky thing, wasn't it? That was tricky. <laughs> oh goodness, that's funny. That's funny. Well, Bob won the drawing this week and it wouldn't do it on my phone. It would not copy and paste all the names in there. So I had to do it over there. Um, so thank you, Bob, for sharing. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. I know that y'all don't share just to win the prize. I know that you share to support, and we really, really appreciate that. Everybody in Shibboleth appreciates that when you support us. Um, so a couple of things I wanted to talk to you. I'm wearing red. Uh, red, there's a thing. 
and it's been going on for a few years, and I've done it on and off occasionally, but red stands for remember everyone deployed. Remember everyone deployed. There is a lot of craziness going on in this world right now, but there's still people deployed. So let's remember and pray for them and lift them up. Remember everyone deployed, okay? So that's why I've got red on, and that's what red stands for, okay? So red on Fridays if y'all want to participate in that, okay? We have a new Fast Track program coming, and I'm really excited about that. Those of you that have already been through Fast Track or those of you who have been around for a very long time, once this comes out, I would love for y'all to participate with us so that we can work out any kinks or anything like that, but I'm going to have a new text system with texting different motivations and different things like uh, just tips, tricks, and nutritional nuggets, and so it's going to look like this, a little text screen. So if you will text Kimmy to 31996, you'll be able to get those uh, notifications and everything. So um, so I'll answer those questions in just a second. So go ahead, and if you haven't ever texted Kimmy to 31996, you can do that. Um, and then if you haven't joined the pledge, please join the pledge. It is complimentary to be a part of the pledge. And there is a Facebook group that you can be a part of. You don't even have to be a member of Shibboleth to have signed the pledge and get uh, these awesome lessons from Travis. And then I would highly encourage you that if you're doing something that you pledged to do this month, take a fun selfie and post it in there so that we can know other people are taking this seriously alongside of us and doing it. So I went and walked two miles last night uh, and I said, I pledged to walk more and took a selfie and put it in there. So it's just for fun. Let's do that. I would encourage you to do that. Please know that you are free to do those posts in that group. It's not just for us to post in, okay? Let's see. Uh, good morning, Joyce from Dallas, Georgia. Belinda, there should be a share button at the bottom of your screen, now, sometimes Facebook's a little odd and you have to touch out and touch back in to see the share. But if for some reason you're not seeing it while you're watching live, if you will just share when it gets over, that will work too, okay? Uh, yes, remember everyone deployed. Thank you, Michelle, for typing that in to help us remember what red means, R-E-D. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning. Good morning, Marla. And hey, Samantha. And good morning, Colleen, and everybody else that is watching, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Feel free to, if you don't feel like typing anything, you could just put your favorite emoji in there or a hand wave, and that way I will know you are there. I'll know you are there because there's more people in the numbers watching that have been saying anything. So y'all can just wave. All right. Karen is having a perfect Shibboleth hot day. Hot. That's awesome. Um. I am going to start a new thing on Saturdays. It's going to be like a Shibby Show special, um, and it's going to be with another person, maybe a person who has just earned their 10% shirt, maybe a person who has been in Shibboleth for years and years and years um, and is doing this. So, y'all, that's going to be really important to share with your friends, too, that, one, that aren't on Shibboleth so that they'll see that we can all do this lifestyle and have great success at it. So be looking for that. It's not starting tomorrow unless I can get somebody that wants to do it at last minute, but this is something that um, I thought about yesterday, yesterday after going to that Ackworth Business Association breakfast yesterday morning. Thank you, Joyce, for sharing. Thank you. And hey, Candace, thank you for that cute little emoji down there. Okay, so today's devotion is called A Positive Message. A Positive Message, and the verse is Psalm 119.50. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Uh, Psalm 119.50. My comfort in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. A Positive Message. My comfort in suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. Things like divorce can leave lifelong consequences in their wake, even affecting and infecting future relationships. Though you may be facing some of the negative results of divorce, God offers a positive message. He forgives you. 
regardless of what you may have said and done, and he comforts you with his unchanging promise of everlasting love and eternal life. Just ask him, and he'll tell you as many times as you need to hear it. And last weekend, I was reading these and deciding which ones to do this week because I had the time to do that while I was down at my in-law's house. And when I came across that one, I thought, I don't want to read that. That's about, that's about uh, divorce, and that's not, that's not always a happy situation in, well, in God's eyes. And I never know what's going on with people, why they've chosen to get, get a divorce. But, but I thought, why? I don't want to read that. And then I thought, yeah, I better. That might speak to somebody. That might speak to somebody. So if, if that spoke to you today, just please know that I did do some thinking about presenting that this morning and just know that the Lord loves you and that uh, he has a plan for you and just go to him and ask for uh, forgiveness and for help and for relationship uh, character building so that you don't let things that have happened in the past uh, affect and infect future relationships and um, we just pray for you. We pray for you. Anybody that has gone through divorce is going through divorce and hopefully you'll never those of you that uh, aren't or haven't never end up with that situation, Father. So I pray for happy and whole relationships this morning. And if I wanted to uh, relate that to Shibboleth just a little bit, just look at it in this way. Never divorce Shibboleth because it's there for you. You can trust it. If you put the time into it, it will work. It will work for you. So you've got to not date Shibboleth. You've got to marry Shibboleth and never divorce Shibboleth. It is for life, and we're here to do this together forever for life. So thank y'all for typing in the Bible verse. Thank you so much. Good morning, Deanda from Smyrna. And thank y'all for typing in that verse. And yet you never know who needs these messages. That is right. That is right. Well, I'm going to uh, say a special prayer for somebody real quick, and then we're going to hop off of here. But in the morning... We have one seat left at the Kennesaw Shibby Shop, one spot, and we are doing uh, a lesson on science and self-discipline, so I would love for y'all to uh, try to get in on that seat. I will try to make that go live tomorrow if I can figure that out. It'll be at 9 a.m. It'll be 9 a.m., and I say if I can figure that out because it's setting up the camera, it's making sure you can hear, it's all of those things. Good morning, Linda. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It did work in very well. Uh, but dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much. I am saying a special prayer for a special person, Lord. Healing is needed and healing is asked for. Father, I have faith the size of, I mean, you just said the size of a mustard seed, Lord. I have that. I have that, Lord. And inside that mustard seed, there is a mustard plant that's going to grow to 15 feet tall. That is huge compared to the size of that mustard seed. Lord Jesus, I have that faith for this person that I'm praying for that is a Shibboleth member, and I ask for healing for her. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. Awesome, Tracy. That is fantastic. Good, good. That is awesome. Well, when you get off of here, journal to focus and set your day. And it gets you your little icon and your timing chart, okay? And then share this. If you share something from the Shibboleth site, you get two tickets, okay? If you share this right after this, this gets you in for next week's drawing. So last Friday's got you in for today's drawing. And then if you watch the videos and the journal videos, make sure that, I mean, these, these Shibby shows, make sure that you mark them as watched so that you get points into your account so that you can spend them in the Shibboleth store, okay? And then, if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. And as we go off of here today, if you will do that little care emoji, that little care emoji for this special person that I prayed that prayer over um, as we go off of here. And I love you all so very, very much, and let's have a great Shibboleth weekend. If you've got a holiday planned, I want you to know that maybe a holla meal is best. Maybe a holla meal is best, but that is something that you can think through what you got to do for yourself. But I don't want you to um, 
lose the success that you've had this week. Okay, so let's don't go backwards this week. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Thank y'all, everybody. Thank y'all for those caring and hearts and everything so that I can tell this person that is for them. Bye, everybody.